the first test. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that works surprisingly well. So I actually have some electric longboard hub motors. Now these are too big, they're about this big, which is 80 millimeters. Uh, the ones I'm actually going to be using are 70, but essentially, what about right there? Because if you have a motor, it would work pretty well, I think. You would somehow have to mount it, which is going to be the hardest thing. It might have to strap onto this, but uh, theoretically, this is just solid rubber. I could bolt through it. I could do whatever I want to mount the motor, but if I can get it right there, I think I would have a fun time. So I am going to mess around with this. We're going to do some designing 3D printing, and we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to attach a back plate to this Healy that will give me a decent way to attach the hub motor to the back. We'll try that out first. So I printed off this piece, and it comes off when I pull it like that which is fine, because the real direction that it matters is if I torque it like this, and that'll hold it on. So I'm going to go ahead and design the wheel portion. So all I have to do is clean this part up a little bit, and remove the support material, and we are ready to go. Let's try it out. Looks about right. I'm really hoping it's close. And that it doesn't break when I'm stretching it. That is not in yet, but it is pretty close. So I just need to do a little bit more cleanup and it'll work. All right, so I have the wheel on my Heelys. I'm wearing my Heelys. And there's a bit of an issue. The weight of this wheel causes it to torque back and come off as said. One potential fix, putting a bolt right through my shoe, but I don't want to destruct the shoe. Another fix would be bringing this up. Another fix is like a strap from here around. That is a decent fix idea, I think. But I'm going to go ahead and plug this in we're gonna see what happens. I have the battery hooked up to the ESC. Turn the ESC on. Turn the remote on. Drop the remote. Didn't turn on. Okay. So it's going reversed. Make sure it is on there. And the first test. <laughs> oh no. That works surprisingly well. Holy cow, this is difficult. Alright, we'll try this later again. <laughs> So what's the verdict? Uh, it works really well. Now, it works really well for what it is. Obviously, pushing yourself from your feet is really hard because it's basically trying to pull your legs apart even more than it already does on Heelys, uh, which is not good. And I definitely want to continue on developing this. I would love to get the motor in here, potentially make my own hub motor, 3D print it, or find a motor that I could stuff in here somehow, probably, you know, take this out. The inside of this sole is mostly hollow, as I found when I drilled the hole for this object here, uh, for the bolt that goes through to hold it. And I would love to fit batteries and everything in here, which I think could be done. I'm going to tweet at Healy's, see if they want to do something with this, but I think I'm the first person in the world, actually, with motorized 
Healy branded Healy's. There are knockoff motorized Healy's and, you know, air powered Healy's, but I think I'm the first person who has ever done this. So that is pretty cool, but we'll have to see what happens in the future. So anyways, there'll be more on this, more on stuff like this, but I think it's pretty fun as it is. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. I made my Healy's remote controlled. The robot uprising is upon us.